Welcome to Hyper Japan in London. Hyper Japan in your castle. And today I'm doing a video that's one of the most requested videos ever on the channel and it's the Sony Xperia 1 versus the OnePlus 7 Pro and I reckon this is a really good opportunity to do a camera comparison for you guys. There's loads of really cool Japanese stuff here today. I'm gonna walk around, take some photos and then at the end I'll do some light comparisons for you guys as well. Are you ready? Let's go. So let me kick this video off by saying a big thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Vodafone.co.uk. They just launched some new unlimited plans where you get unlimited data starting at £23 a month and you can even get unlimited 5G plans starting at £30 a month. That is insane. Unlimited 5G for £30 a month? You gotta go check that out. There'll be a link below this video. Picture one, okay, so this was one of the first stalls I stumbled across and they had these really cool little Japanese wooden dolls and if anybody knows what these are actually called, let me know in the comments below because I have no idea. Anyway, this was a good warm up photo because the lighting was good, there was quite a lot of colors in the shot and first off you'll notice the Sony Xperia 1 is doing a really amazing job when it comes to delivering rich colors. The OnePlus 7 Pro is also doing a great job with his Sony IMX sensor, especially when it comes to brightness. You can really see that in the wood tones on the shelving. And if you compare the wood tones there side by side, you can really see what I'm talking about. I think when it comes to colors, I've got to go with the Sony, but you might have noticed on the OnePlus 7 Pro photo, it's dealing really well with the backlighting in the brightest areas of the image. Which one of these do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. And let's move on to picture two. So this is a rear camera portrait of a Japanese style waffle with ice cream and M&Ms. And it was pretty damn good if I do say so myself. So when we look at the image, when it comes to background blur, it's pretty close on both devices. When it comes to edge detection, I believe the Xperia 1 is just softening the top of the waffle just a little bit too much. Whereas on the OnePlus 7 Pro, the edge detection is a lot sharper. And when it comes to colors, I feel the Xperia 1 is giving more accurate colors. The OnePlus 7 Pro photo is certainly brighter and it has more orange tones right across the image, which is enhancing the picture, which also looks really awesome. So this is a close one to call. Gonna leave it to you guys. There's a poll up in the top right corner for you to vote. And once you do that, you can see what everyone else is voting for as well. Picture three. Okay, a portrait selfie. Now on the OnePlus 7 Pro, it seems to be adding more blur this time than the Xperia 1. And you can really see that in the background on the signs. They're just a little less visible than on the Xperia 1. The Xperia 1 image is much warmer and I look like I have a really good tan and that's a good thing. And I think this is due to the Sony Superior Auto Mode. It's kind of beautifying the image just a bit. However, when it comes to selfie cam colors, I think the OnePlus 7 Pro might be a bit more accurate. And the reason I say this is because of the grays on my hoodie. When it comes to setting white balance, usually you use the color gray to get the most accurate white balance. And when I look at the hoodie right now, the grays on the OnePlus 7 photo look more true to life. But again, it's a close one. I can't complain with that tan that the Xperia 1's giving me. And when it comes to details, they're both really, really good. Which one do you like? Let me know in the comments below. Picture four. Okay, this is a detail test. And this stand seemed to be pretty popular at the show. And I've got no idea why. Anyway, brightness once again is on the side of the OnePlus 7 Pro and the colors are just really awesome on the Sony Xperia 1. Now let's zoom in 60% to check out some of those details. So on closer inspection, the Xperia 1 appears to have better sharpness with a little more texture. The OnePlus 7 Pro image is much softer with less contrast when it comes to detail, there's quite a visible difference in the background of the image. And this isn't likely due to the sensors and more to do with the aperture on the two lenses. What do you guys think about this image? Which phone's doing better when it comes to a detail test? Let me know in the comments below or use the poll up in the top right corner. Okay, now let's move on to some video and audio tests for you guys. And there were some Aikido demonstrations going on. So I thought it was a good opportunity to test out the video capabilities so let's go. Aikido is practiced in more than 190 countries around the world by men and women of all ages and backgrounds. Today you'll see a demonstration by members of our dojo who have been training from a couple of years to a couple of decades. 
As a group warm up, you are seeing a set of techniques with both partners seated and one standing while the other is seated. This type of training is unique to Aikido and it is unclear to why it's done. Some historical and cultural explanations can be found, but what is certain is that this type of training strengthens the legs, improves posture and hip movement. Alright, so what do you think so far? And right now you're looking at front facing video on the OnePlus 7 Pro. I'm going to switch now to the Xperia 1. How are the photos looking so far? What's the audio like on the two devices as well? Let me know. So I'm on the hunt for some good cosplayers here today to try and do some selfies, so that's coming up. Also, make sure you use the polls up in the top right corner to vote on which pro is winning. Anyway, let's crack on. Picture 5, so here's another selfie. Except this time, it's not my ugly mug. So behold, I found a cosplayer and this photo was actually taken in portrait mode although there wasn't anything behind us you can't really see the effects of the portrait mode but anyway let's assess this thing on the xperia 1 it's much brighter this time with the highlights really blowing out quite a bit across the top of her hair and actually this cosplayer when she saw the two photos she preferred the sony photo when i showed them to her on the oneplus 7 pro image it's much sharper all around especially around the pieces of her costume over her shoulders with that said one area where i feel the xperia 1 is actually doing a really really great job is around the details of her eyes so you can see her makeup much clearer and her eye color much clearer and brighter as well. So for the next two images, I'm gonna let you guys decide. I'm just gonna stay quiet. I've put a number up in the top left corner for you. So if you wanna leave a comment, put the number of the photo and then your comment afterwards. Anyway, check these out. Let me know which one of these photos you like better and let's move on to some lens tests. So both the Sony Xperia 1 and the OnePlus 7 Pro are triple shooter flagships. And if you didn't know, the OnePlus 7 Pro actually uses Sony sensors as well. But anyway, let's see what these three different lenses can do on each device. Okay, this is the primary shooter on both devices. The details are pretty close, but the colors are very, very different. Now let's test the ultra wide. So unfortunately the Sony Xperia 1 wouldn't let me shoot the ultra wide in a one to one aspect ratio. That's why they're different sizes on screen right now. But look, we can see how wide the two lenses are and you'll notice the Sony Xperia 1 has a much wider field of view. You can see way more below where I was standing and way more at the sides as well and more of that staircase. The colors again are very different and not quite as vibrant on the Sony as they were in the previous photo. Now onto the telephoto and you'll notice the OnePlus 7 Pro goes a bit further. And now let's test the maximum digital zoom using the zoom lens. So as you can see, they both go pretty much the same distance at maximum zoom. And I've got to say, pretty interesting results here. Both phones have really strong points and some weaker areas. But let me know after seeing the three lenses, which one of these is better. There's a poll up in the top right corner. Use that to vote for your winner. So it was the Hyper Japan Festival. And of course, I had to find a bonsai tree for you guys. I had to put a little bit of nature into this video. And I've got to say, both phones are doing a really awesome job. Although I must say the Sony Xperia 1 really nails it when it comes to the colors and contrast. The OnePlus 7 Pro also does a good job, but it's adding just a bit too much brightness for me. And you can see the white tones on the tree branches to the right hand side are just a little bit too bright. And I think it's causing it to lose some detail. I'm sure the OnePlus 7 Pro is able to deliver a better image here. And it probably just takes a little software tweak to bring up the contrast a bit. But I think you've got to give this one to the Xperia. So now is the time for you to decide which one won. Use the poll up in the top right corner to vote for your winner. And once you do that, you'll be able to see what everyone else voted for. So Hyper Japan was awesome. And I highly recommend you guys go check it out if you can. 
And there's another one coming up this Christmas, so if you miss this one, don't worry. And if you want to see these two devices go head to head in a night comparison shootout, then hit this thumbnail on screen right now. And if you just subscribed, that means you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I really appreciate your support. And once again, a big shout out to Vodafone.co.uk for hooking up this real one. I'll see you guys in the next one.